Hi, everybody. I'm so excited that right now I get to sit with Kyla Stone of Anastasia, another uh, great performance that's coming to the Paramount Theater with Broadway Across America. Hi, thank you so much, Kyla, for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Well, this has been, I mean, I've said it on almost in, in probably every interview that I'm excited when I get the chance to sit down with you all because, you know, theater was my first love. So honestly, this is a great, great honor for me. And, you know, I want to hear all about you, your background, and then we're going to get into uh, Anastasia itself. So you can tell the audience a little bit more about the show. But let's start with you. What got you into acting and to doing live theater? Yeah. So my grandma had literally like every single movie musical you can think of. I was obsessed with singing in the rain. I was obsessed with the King and I. And then she also had a recording of Phantom of the Opera. And it was like the old version that wasn't the musical. But then she also gave me a CD of it. And I heard it for the first time. And I was like, this is it. This is all I want to do. <laughs> and then I saw the show when I was five. I saw it in the theater um, at the Amundsen in LA. And I was like, yep. I want to be an actor. I want to do whatever they're doing on stage. And I didn't really get into theater until I was in like middle school. And I was Belle in Beauty and the Beast, another princess that I would love to play someday. And, and yeah, after that, it was literally history. I was like, yep, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to major in. This is what I'm going to make a career in. I don't care how much I have to struggle, how much I have to go through. This is all I want to do. It's my love. Yeah, you know, it really takes that kind of dedication. I think when we're talking about, you know, audition after audition and trying to find that footing, right? I mean, that's really a part of an actor and actress's lifestyle is, hey, I, I got my lane. I'm going to stay right here and I'm going to pursue it no matter what. So I love hearing that background story and also connecting it to your grandmother and these amazing <laughs> musicals that she had. You know, one thing about musical theater is it's very different because you really have to train in so many different formats. It's about voice, dance, acting. It's a whole combination. So talk to us about the schooling that you did to get to a place where you're like, yep, I'm, now I'm doing something for Broadway across America. Yeah, I um, went to high school at Socha, which is South Orange County School of the Performing Arts. Um, but it was nice because it was a public school. So we still had football games. We still had rallies. And then obviously it was sort of like being in a mini conservatory at the same time. So I was taking opera I was taking dance, I was taking Shakespeare, I was taking theater, and then I was like, okay, gotta go to psych. Um, <laughs> but, but that was great. And then I had so many different options for colleges, but Chapman University was just sort of the one that, that seemed like the best fit. One of my professors happened to be at one of my shows in high school, and I was like, this is fate. I think I'm supposed to end up here. And it was so wonderful because it was really like we dove into acting, and that's what I really wanted to harness in my four years. I was like, I feel pretty confident about singing. I feel pretty confident about dance, but I was like, this is what I'm going to focus on because we also did musicals we also danced but i mean we got serious about acting it was crying at 8 a.m and i was like yeah this is it <laughs> so so i did that graduated in a pandemic which was great and then um and then obviously anastasia happened did my final call back on zoom which was crazy and, and it was wonderful Amazing, amazing. And this is your first national uh, performance, correct, that you're actually going to be a part of. Yeah. So so not only is Anya going on this journey, so am I. I think that's one of the, the perks of getting to play someone who's figuring themselves out and, and going on a journey is I'm like, oh, it's not that big of a stretch. So <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, I love it. And, you know, we, we love to, to connect with folks and, and talk about all of the background, right? So there's so much preparation to get a live show up and running like this. Tell us how it's been for you to work with the fellow cast members, the director, everybody that's involved in this production. Yeah, I mean, putting the show up, we had two weeks to put it up on its feet. So I knew going in, I was like, I got to be off book. I got to have ideas. I got to come in with all of this stuff. And then really just being in that room for the first time in forever uh, with, with a bunch of, of wonderful, creative people and so kind and giving. This is truly uh, one of the most fun and just, just 
we have such a sense of unity in our cast and we do feel like a little family just because we have such a wide age range and I have little Anastasias who are like my mini me's and, and we hang out, we just have a blast. And then I, we have the Dowager Empress who is so wise. Jerry is truly my Nana and, and takes care of such good care of all of us. And, and so really to, to sort of sit together and go, okay, we're going to put this up in two weeks and go into tech and, and we really got to know each other super quickly and we just have a blast on and off stage. We're constantly breaking character and <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's really what it's about. It's about being able to have that comfortability, I think, with your, you know, fellow cast members, because it really resonates for the audience. Once you're putting that live performance on, this comfortability really shines through. And so I I, I got to tell you, Kyla, I'm looking forward to this. And this is also, you know, I, I'm loving these interviews because we're really seeing how intentional, you know, there's a, an effort to diversify some of these older shows that have have majority like predominantly white cast members and so tell us a little bit about how it, it feels for you to you know just graduate and now be breaking into something where they're really opening their arms up in terms of Broadway to diverse actors and actresses singers dancers really diversifying these casts yeah I, I owe it to our casting director Jason um, because when I got the, the initial audition, of course, like five-year-old me in the back of my mind was like, yeah, you can be a princess. You can be Anastasia. And, and like current me, I was like, hold on. Am I, can I actually do this? Is, am I right for this? Which is so interesting. Cause I think as little kids we're fearless and, and we have no idea what society is like, what society is going to say. And then as we got further along into callbacks, I sort of went, oh no, I want this. I know I can do this. I know how much it's going to mean for the little five-year-olds who's sitting in the audience dreaming the same dream as me. And to get to have so many other people of color in the show with me and get to watch them soar and dance and experience joy. I think that that's so important for audience of all ages and all races and all creeds to see that, that there are people of color who can not be put in a box and, and get to experience joy and, and have all of these emotions. And, and I think of Christian who plays my father and is the czar and gets to wear this beautiful white, just bejeweled costume and stand in his power as a black man. And, and it's, oh, it's overwhelming and it's amazing. And it's, it's a gift. It really is. And I, and I really, uh, I feel like going to these shows um, since uh, the end of last year, really, I've been seeing it resonate with, you know, the audience. I mean, the audience just being so receptive to the diversity, opening it up to LGBTQIA, like literally uh, saying, you know what, all of our people need to be represented in theater. And I think it really helps to also diversify the audience. But just like what you said there, you know, everybody on stage gets to be an example for that next person. I remember my first show uh, where I said, oh my gosh, I've got to do acting. It was Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. And I got to see that when I was in the fifth grade. And I remember, you know, Felicia Loud, she is my everything. Like she was the reason why I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this. I mean, she was singing, she was acting. It was so powerful. Um, her portrayal of the character. And honestly, you know, I'm so thankful because now I can call her my friend. Right. And we've done shows together and we have been, I've been able to grow under kind of her tutelage to a certain degree and just watch her be so phenomenal on stage. And I can, I can totally resonate with what you're talking about there. And, and kudos to you for, for making space for the little Anastasias out there. Uh, tell the <laughs> folks how they can come and support this amazing show. I know you guys will be opening soon. I'm so looking forward to it. Make sure the audience knows how they can come and see Anastasia and see you live on stage. Yes, we will be at the Paramount Theater. It's going to be eight shows. It's also going to be our first shows back. We were supposed to go to Canada and the pandemic had other ideas so we are gonna be in full force it's january 25th through the 30th coming up um and for tickets you can obviously visit seattle.broadway.com ah uh, amazing kyla stone thank you so much for sitting down with me i know you have a busy schedule lots to prepare for so i truly appreciate you taking time to sit with me trey holiday today and i can't wait to see you in the show thank you yeah. so much thank you trey have a great rest of your day today Yes.
Wow, amazing. You guys, please give some time to these shows. There's so much work that goes behind it all. I'm so glad that Kyla was able to give us her, a, her experience and also share a little bit about behind the scenes, what it looks like to be kind of a family of cast members and working alongside each other. It's a beautiful way for us to be able to support live theater. You know, if you're feeling healthy, right? I always want to say that. If you're feeling healthy and you want to get out there, as she said, January 25th through the 30th, get your tickets at Paramount. You guys can check it out. Again, amazing shows. And I promise you, I have not been disappointed by one show yet because you really see the heart and the grind of all of these characters, these actors. And there's so many people behind the scenes with the set design. Trust me, it has been phenomenal for me. So take your family out and enjoy Anastasia coming up to the Paramount Theater. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching.